what's up guys, my name is Grant Borland with ASTS Sound Design and today we want to show you our new sample library called Delicata. Delicata is a toolkit that is aimed at underscore TV drama styled compositions. A lot of our products have been more heavy sound design trailer related and we wanted to have some kind of offering on our store that was aimed more at the lighter end of production music and trailer music. And just because this is a, a lighter underscore styled library, it's not to say that there's not plenty of cool usable sounds that can be used in you know, trailer music. Yeah, we want to dive into that today, and there's no better way to start a walkthrough than to show you a track that has been pre-written with Delicata. So why don't we dive into Logic and take a quick listen to a composition I wrote using Delicata, and then from there we'll dive a little bit deeper into some of the sounds. Alright, so here's our session. As you can see, I've got this split into two different sections. We've got all these blue tracks here, which is all uh, sounds from Delicata. And then the orangish red tracks are third party libraries. I've got some snare drums happening, I've got some cymbal rolls, and I've got a little bit of synthesizer. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a quick listen to this demo I've written. There you go, so that was the demo track I wrote using Delicata. So like I said, the blue tracks in that were from Delicata. I used, you know, guitar, I used some drones, some sub booms, some whooshes, some light percussion, signature sounds, hits, risers, you know, all things like that can be expected in this sort of pack. Let's go ahead and dive into the product itself. So when you download it, you're gonna get 11 different folders, you know, 11, 11 different categories here. You know, we've got Space, sub synths, drones, guitars, percussion, pings, pulses, and arps, uh, risers, signature sounds, sub booms, impacts, vocals, and whooshes. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to play through some of these, so you can kind of get a, a taste of you know what to expect in this. So those are some like lower bass hit bass effect kind of sounds. Um, we also have just a low sub synth that I created using some of my analog synthesizers. We used a lot of analog synthesizers. Some Korg synthesizers, I've got some sequential synthesizers. Uh, we also had a composer named Adam King, you know, create some sounds using a variety of his analog synthesizers. So a lot of these like percussion hits and pulses and some like arpeggiated things, some of those can be attributed to Adam King's efforts with all his cool analog synth. So let's continue through here. So these are just like really low sub synth kind of things. I've just got one in, you know, every key. Uh, let's move on to some drones. We've got dark drones and light drones. Let's listen through some of the dark drones. These were created by James Brown. These ones are really cool. Um, I'm just going to play a couple random ones.
I mean, that one goes on for a while, but you can hear it just continues to evolve. Listen to some of the light drones. Moving on, let's listen to some of the guitars. So we've got these broken into three different categories. We have dry, which is just, you know, some guitar plucks, guitar chords with little to no processing on them. We have some loops that you can just drag and drop into your sessions or chop up however you see fit. And then we also have some more processed guitar sounds that, you know, will have reverbs and delays on them. They're going to be more like plucks or some chords similar to the dry. I, actually, they're basically the same as the dry folder. There's just processing on them. The guitar on this was a Fender Jazzmaster, and I was recording that through my Kemper, which you can probably see kind of in the corner of the screen. So I got a lot of really cool guitar tones, kind of like post-rock influenced. That was kind of the, the vibe I was creating when I made these, but uh, let's listen through some of those. So those are really fun to layer and start making like fun chord progressions out of. I'll show you the process next. You know, so we have all different, you know, um, different keys for you to, to play with and, you know, build compositions from. Um, I'm going to play a couple loops for you, too. Um, so those are the guitars. Let's look at the percussion. The percussion is broken into loops and one shots. Uh, the loops are, you know, broken up into a range of 80 to 105 BPM, and then it goes from 110 to 130. So those are some of those. Let's listen to some of the one shots as well. All right, the next category we have are pings. This is, this is kind of one of these things that I had mentioned previously where I feel like where this is kind of more of an underscore library, there's also things in here that can be really useful for you know building out trailer music as well. So we definitely kept that in mind when creating this product. Moving on, here are some of the like pulses and arpeggiated things.
all sorts of good stuff there too. We've got a few risers in here. Moving on to our signature sounds. Always, you know, always good to have some signature sounds to pull from. Um, we've got some sub booms and sub impacts. Here's some of those. All right, our next section is vocals. And this is one section I am super, super excited about. These vocals are all recorded by composer Jessica Jarvis. Uh, Jessica went ahead and recorded a bunch of really cool, you know, vocal phrases, some vocal like pulsating elements, things like that. So we have this broken up into dry recordings, which has just some light, you know, EQ and compression. And then we have processed uh, vocals, which where we just added a lot of effects to it and made some really unique sounding things. Go ahead and start with the dry ones. Oh, 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 oh. I feel like those pulses are really cool. A lot of times I've been noticing in trailers, there's like a lot of vocal elements that have been like regularly being used. I think about recent trailers I've watched like A24's Men or like the Andor trailers. Um, there's all sorts of trailers that have been using vocal elements. So we wanted to make sure that we were like, when, if we did vocals, we wanted to do vocals in a way that was like kind of unique like that. So there's a lot of really useful stuff as far as the, you know, the vocal phrases and pulses go. Let's listen to some of the processed ones too. Alright, that's the vocals for you. And then finally, our last section in this library is whooshes. We've got a few whooshes here. Um, let me play a couple of them. Well, there you go, that's Delicata for you. Um, there's a lot in here that I think will be very useful for composers and producers alike. Um, it is on its intro sale right now. It'll be on sale for about a month. Um, so yeah, pick it up right now. It's $28 and then it'll go up to $35 when it's off its intro sale. Thanks so much for watching guys and have fun with Delicata.